We call him the captain of the goofy ship. Why? Um, I'm the voice of reason here. Huh? Well, there you go. He has a sign. It's goofy time. The goofies of the week. Oh. <laughs> Every week is something different. Um, these are the goofies of the week. My name is Prevante Hurd. Goofies of the week sponsored by the Flex Zone. Appreciate you guys for giving me a little time to let 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 give me a chance to let the people know what I thought was goofy this week. Um, y'all know how it goes. Green card, low level goofy. Red card, high level goofy. Um, I think both these. I think both these situations will be uh, high level goofies. I'm gonna highlight two franchises in particular. Um, it's gonna be the Dallas Cowboys and the Jacksonville Jaguars. <clears throat> I'm gonna start with the uh, Dallas Cowboys. The uh, the goofy America team. America's of the goofies. But what, what? Who are they? America's team. Goofy, goofy team. Goofy's team in America. What? There we go. Goofy's team in America. Um. Okay, so. Guys, guys had a chance. Uh, what was the name of the guy, the kicker, the current kicker? Oh, the bomb. It doesn't matter what the their name is. He missed a doink. He missed a doink in Landover, Maryland, and it was a beautiful sight, beautiful thing. But you know what I thought? You know what I thought was funny? Where's Dan Bailey? Why did they let go Dan Bailey? Why injuries? Why did they let go Dan Bailey? I don't understand why. I save money. What <laughs> save money? He's a kicker. <laughs> I, 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 I don't understand. Dallas, you're, you're very, 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 very goofy with that. And I think the funniest thing and goofiest thing about this is that your current kick is losing you games. Despite what happened, because I don't care where he kicks from. Dan Bailey probably made that one. Moving on. Giving up a first-round pick for Martin Cooper. I mean, that's racist at an all-time high because where's Zeke? Where's the offense? The offensive line doesn't look that great. Zeke doesn't look that great. And they have no number one wide receivers. And Tavon Austin's been inactive. What's really going on? So not only do they, not only are they in a turmoil for offense, they reach desperately with a guy who just got out of concussion protocol, Amari Cooper, with a first round pick, giving the Raiders a third first round pick this year, just for Amari Cooper to be a free agent next year. They must got money like that because why else would you do it? Anyway, moving on. Goofy, Dallas Cowboys. Now, the Jacksonville Jaguars. My goodness. Um, I was going to say Jalen Ramsey back-to-back weeks, but you know what? No. It's, it's a little bit more than just him. I'm going to say it's the, the whole team, the whole organization, top to bottom. Jalen Ramsey said something funny at the end of his uh, press conference. He said, ain't no secret to what's going on. And it ain't right. Quotation marks. Is, could he be saying that the offense is trash? Could he be saying Blake Bortles is trash? Could he be saying that the offensive coordinator is trash? Like, what What could he possibly be saying? And you know what this all stems back to? Him talking all that trash in the offseason. Talking about what quarterback was good, which one was bad. And he conveniently left out his own quarterback. He got burned, too, by DeAndre Hopkins. Hey, we're not going to get into that right now. I mean, of course, <laughs> that that doesn't help. I mean, back to back weeks. Was this third the third week in a row they give? I think they minus thirty six point differential. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. And this is this is a team that leans on their defense and their running game. Now Leonard Fournette obviously isn't helping, but that defense <laughs> is very very confident young defense, and they're not playing well. Ninety points over the last three games. They're mm. not playing well at all, and they have an altercation in the locker room. They're they're exploding. Internally, and Jalen Ramsey kind of the cat out the bag, but Doug and on top of that, Doug Marone benching Blake Bowles in the third quarter for who? Co- Cody, Cody Kessler. Co- who? Who? Dan's boy from who? USC. Who? Who? Yes, yes. Who? Cody Kessler. And now he's saying that he's gonna Blake Bowles is gonna be the starter moving forward. This is not good psychology for any quarterback, good, better, or indifferent. And now moving forward, what's gonna happen to this team? I think things continue to go down, down, down. And Tom Coughlin is not looking good in this situation either. So, anyway, those are my goofies of the week. The Jacksonville Jaguars and the Dallas Cowboys. Red and, again, red. Get it together, (laughs) get it together, get it together. And last but not least, there's a thin line between goofy and great. Y'all on the wrong end of it, especially you Dallas Cowboys. Appreciate the win. If you ain't down with that, we got one word for you. 
Goofy! <laughs>